Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of converting units. This is standard 4.8b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 14 off the 2018 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So the table shows different numbers of feet and the equivalent number of yards. So five yards equals this uh, 15 feet, 15 yards equals 45 feet, 25 yards equals 75 feet, 35 equals 105 feet. And Joey walked 333 feet. So how many yards did he walk? So if we're going to put this right here, 333 feet. Let's make sure we put on the correct side. We're looking for how many yards is that? Well, what we need to know, we can actually use this table if we want to, but we could also uh, just realize that on our answer document, we have a mathematics chart. And a part of that mathematics chart includes a few conversions. So one yard equals three feet. So that's what we need to, that's what we need to see here is that one yard equals three feet. So that's why we get this rule of times three. So in every single one of these five yards, you've got three feet. So if you multiply that, uh, that three times five, you're gonna get your 15 right there. And then if you multiply this 15, every single time you see one of those yards, there's three feet inside of that. You multiply that by three and you're gonna get 45. Same with this, and this makes sense, that 25, right? 25 times three makes 75, three quarters makes 75 cents. And so we see that same with 35 and 105. So something times three, that's what we can look at here. Something, this is our unknown. Something times three is gonna equal 333. I know my threes, but I don't know them that far up. So what we can look at here is we can look at some related sentences. So when we're thinking of fact families, we're thinking of something times three equals 333. We know that we can switch the order of our factors. That might help, you might have a clue. But there are also two related division sentences. So that is going to help us here. And it's going to be this last one that's really going to give us what we need. If I take 333, if I divide that by 3, that is going to give me my, my missing number. So really, if I were to look at this in a, in a strip diagram here, we would see our total of 333. And I need to break it up into chunks of 3 because for every 3 feet I'm going to get a yard and I'm wondering how many yards can I get out of my 333 feet. So well, let's divide 3 into 333 and when we divide we need to remember we've got to divide, multiply, subtract, check, bring down. I like to think of the saying does McDonald's, sell, and then the CB is cheeseburger. That's the check, and then the bring down. These are the steps for long division we learn in fourth grade. So divide three, start with the first number. Does three go into three? Yes, one time. Multiply, one times three is three. Subtract, three minus three is zero. Check, is that difference smaller than your divisor? It must be, yes. So just bring down that next one, just one. Do it all over again, three goes into three. Well, we just did that. That's a three times three is three. Subtract is gonna be zero. Check, yeah, that's fine. Bring down, oh my goodness, it's one more three. Let's do it all over again. Three goes into three, one time. Multiply one times three is three. Subtract, three minus three is zero. Check, that is good. There's nothing left to bring down. So my answer is going to be this 111, and that makes sense if I were to Multiply it, three times one is three, three times one is three. Some of you might have seen that before we did the division, but at least we checked it. Our answer here is going to be H, 111 yards.